Photography. When we hear the word, we think of beauty, nature. We think of incredible moments caught in an instant. Now how does one capture such moments? You might think it's luck, but actually it's geometry. Now when we typically hear the word geometry, we usually think of math and angles. We never really associate geometry with photography or fathom how geometry enhances a photo. Yet it does. Henry Cartier-Bresson is remembered for his reliance on geometry and manipulation of angles to create stunning photography. Before we see how geometry was integrated into his photography, there are some key terms you need to know. A negative is just simply the photo itself. A photo taken with a 35mm lens measures 36mm by 24mm. Mathematically, it can be reduced to a 3 to 2 ratio. This in turn can be reduced even further to a 1 to 1.5 ratio, which is also known as the 1.5 rectangle. A reciprocal is a line that intersects a diagonal at a 90 degree angle. In photography, incorporating the reciprocal will strengthen an image by reinforcing the diagonal. The eye of an image is the intersection of two horizontal and two vertical lines. A 1.5 armature is created by first drawing two diagonals from each corner of a negative. Then draw the reciprocals from the opposing corners, which will intersect the diagonals at 90 degrees. Finally, draw vertical lines through the intersections of the diagonal and the reciprocal. Let's see how Henry Cartier-Bresson put these concepts to work in his photograph in a train. In this photo, Bresson saw a diagonal line that started in the top right corner of the negative and cut straight through the woman in the photo. With our diagonal in place, we can now draw the reciprocal. We tend to draw the reciprocal to locate the point of focus of the picture, the point we want everybody's attention to be drawn to. This point of location is the intersection of the diagonal and its reciprocal. In this photo, the intersection of the diagonal and the reciprocal is the couple's face. Let us now look at the use of diagonals and reciprocals in Katia Branson's photo, Maricel. In this photo, the diagonal line runs along the knee and body of the man lying fully on the grass. The reciprocal of this photo cuts straight through the other man who is lying on the grass and is propped up by his elbow. On close examination of the photo, it's clear that Bresson wanted the focus of the photo to be the knee, for it is the intersection of the two lines. Now let us observe the use of the 1.5 armature in Bresson's photo titled Martine's Legs. Through the use of the 1.5 armature, we can see the composition of the photo, but more importantly, we can also see the points and areas of focus that were intended for this photo. In this photo in particular, the focus was the woman's legs. Not only that, but it's because of the intricate use of diagonals and reciprocals in this armature that strengthens the photo symmetry and makes it more aesthetically pleasing. It's through Henry Cate Branson's photographs that we can truly see how geometry forms art. It's through its use and manipulation that we are able to create things like never before. If we understand it and utilize it, we are able to preserve breathtaking moments.